in in our ongoing project that is in VOP to handle the tickets that uh, are in Jira. Uh, so this is the this is the main motto uh, of the intersection. And to be very honest, I'm not a professional trainer. So if there might be some ups and downs in between the intersections, so please bear with me. Okay, so let's then start. Share my screen. Please let me know if uh, my screen is visible to all. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, oh, great. So the thing is, as you know, that uh, we, we many of us using the Jira board, it might be the client Jira or our in-house Jira, but uh, there is a uh, there is a process or there is a system that we we, we might uh, work on this uh, this agile process to having that uh, maintaining the Jira board. So in in OLP also we have uh, this Jira board and it's obvious the client Jira that we are using. So you might be having uh, the different buckets in your project, but in OUP, uh, these are the uh, overall bucketing system that is in to do, in progress, in QA, in UAT, ASO, and done. So uh, in UAT means uh, we we share the the tickets to UAT to move the ticket to client so that client can leave you and and if the client uh, give that yes go or no go if it's go then we will move the ticket to aso and find of it and and then client will review uh, personally or or the respected stakeholders review the the tickets and then uh, if they are happy with the or the development that we did in the ticket is going to done or it might be come to either to do or in progress if there is a bug or if, if there is a concern from the client end. So this is the Jira board that we are following. So, so what is what is uh, the RCA? What is the impact analysis uh, that we are going to talk about this? So in in Agile or in the in the Jira that there are uh, we generally use the tickets. So the tickets might be a story or might be a sub bug, might be a bug. So there are different things that either uh, the independent one should be either a story or a bug. So there is a, another thing that is a sub bug. Sub bugs means the if I worked on a story, uh, it's it's a it's a new feature that we are going to develop or developing uh, a new thing for our project. So it, it is considered as a story, okay. And if I if I worked on the particular in a story and did the development and after the unit testing of it or the depth testing we do in in QA environment, then we move the ticket to QA person to to revalidate the uh, entire uh, development piece. So if the the QA person uh, identified the bugs or they have any concerns, they just create sub bugs uh, within the parent ticket that is the story so that is that is that means uh, a sub bug is is within the story but if we if we consider a bug that is the, the ticket itself can be a bug so if uh, we worked on a bug then the process that we we enforced in in our project that is an OP that bug there there never be a sub bug within a bug. So if there is any concern of the development of any bug, then the ticket just the uh, the tester just reopen the ticket and assign back to developers. So that is the overall uh, Jira tracking process that we are uh, having in our project. And it is quite appreciated by the client, by the senior management, uh, to having the the healthy movement of the tickets. So, so what is uh, then? Then obviously, uh, the next point would be what is the impact analysis or what be the RCA. So, RCA means root cause analysis. In short, we call it RCA. And another one is impact analysis. 
So what is the difference between impact analysis and RCA? That is the first question that we uh, did stri uh, strike on my uh, on our mind. So as I said, there are two types of tickets in Jira board. One is story and one is bug or sub bug. So suppose we are working on a story. Then the process we, we established that is before doing any, any uh, a single line of code in in regarding review the requirement what the requirement is and for the store to mitigate or to achieve this particular requirement what we need to do that means in coding perspective in which area we need to uh, touch or we or, or what the code base in what particular piece I need to develop or I need to rectify or I need to alter or I need to delete the all the things should be documented in in a, in a manner in, in a prescribed format uh, so that uh, it uh, could be recorded within the Jira ticket so that it in in future uh, if client wants to review that uh, within a story what particular piece has been developed or are going to be developed then they also have the idea okay this particular piece or this particular code should be written in the code base so that the, the to achieve an alarm with the, the codes or the line of codes or the process or, or the, anything that we are going to develop what are the impact areas that means uh, that means if uh, co considering that uh, suppose we are working on an interactive player and it's a direct uh, impact on the editor in our um, OUP ecosystem because so there, there are lots of things in OUP right now because uh, the OUP uh, has uh, has owning the all the available products of learning net that means quad frost ill word and editor and all of uh, these are tightly integrated in OUP so that means uh, that means whenever we worked on any particular uh, uh, any particular um, domain or any particular software or tools so it has a uh, it's, it's a it's a recursive uh, impact to the other platform as well because it's tightly coupled uh, within uh, the OUP ecosystem so so suppose we are we are changing one one particular piece of code for interactive player then what will be the files we need to uh, touch on or we need to uh, uh, need to write or, or or need to delete so which files that means it might be a css file or it might be a ts uh, anything could be but we need to record or document those piece of files within the uh, impact analysis document so before going to uh, to uh, elaborate it all the all the steps um, in, in a verbal way i just show how we are are establish the process let me win one ticket for you yeah this is the best one 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 three one zero One one three one zero. This is the CCD one one three one zero. It's a ticket ID, and this is the the label that we can identify whether it is a story or it's a bug or sub bug. So right now you can see that it's a story. One one three one nine. It is a story, and this is a description of the requirement that what we need to update or need to do. So this is the exact requirement recorded in the acceptance criteria. And in our Jira uh, client Jira, we have an automated process that whenever uh, any sprint starts and the particular ticket is within the sprint, then these few subtasks are being automatically created 
so that these few steps we need to follow rigorously to have the system or have the process we said it's never being missed out so what are uh, these uh, tickets for subtask for right you can say it's a create impact analysis one subtask test case creation second one finalize and upload the test case test case review verification on qa server verification on state server as this particular ticket 11310 is done in in the status isn't done that means sign up by client then these all subtask must be done as well without all these subtasks are done the parent ticket never be in a done condition that means if if the parent ticket is in done condition or deploy ready for uh, or deploy to production or ready for deploy then uh, and and any subtasks are in open state that is a process breach and we need to rectify or need to follow this uh, process rigorously so that the the quality of product that we are delivering should be 100% correct okay. so as is, as i said it, as this is a story so we need to create one impact analysis document before we start the ticket or move the ticket to in from to do to in progress like shantanu has is the developer of the ticket 11310 so what he did he reviewed the requirement and post review the requirement and post analysis the the requirement what he did he create one rca or impact analysis document in a shared google drive and attached in the uh, the subtask for the impact analysis document so here is the link or here is the impact analysis document so what is it so this is the this is the basic requirement of the ticket that is update the loading spinner or the test gen player this is the basic requirement and this is the algorithm that the loader spinner the test gen should be consistent the perfect ui at the present the, this all, all these all are the algorithm that if we want to achieve this particular requirement or the acceptance criteria then what the thing we need to do in our code so this is one sample of our approved or already done in impact analysis document so this is the algorithm to achieve the requirement and the list of files impacted or modified within this particular uh, tab we need to enlist all the files like in the example shantanu did app component.html file alter in alterations on this file this three h these four html files and and one css file that is common.css so so on a single glance anyone anyone of you anyone the, the, who review this document can have a clear idea okay the developers need are going to uh, going to develop or going to add this piece of codes in in these html files and alter the css in a css file and repository name that is which repository we are going to implement this code and if is there any kind of risk on challenges that we are uh, we are seeing seeing forcing beforehand if there is any then we need to definitely call it out in the document so but suppose if i if i if i foresee that uh, due to my code 
due to my this development new development that we are going to implement uh, the other ones ticket that are in progress or 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 pi pipeline in a, in a in a in a future sprint git might be impacted or in sprint git might be impacted then we definitely need to add this as a comment that for my uh, this particular piece of code that uh, i am going to develop it might impact the other ones like shantanu if shantanu and i are going parallelly in in sprint are working parallelly in two different tickets and and shantanu's code directly impact on my piece of development then those risk or challenge should be uh, recorded in this risk and challenge for c uh, area and another the last one is dependency on other tickets or not so as this example there is no risk and challenges then shantanu said no not applicable and no other dependencies for his uh, piece of development then he said no but but if there is any dependency suppose shantanu's code uh, if if uh, shantanu and i was working parallelly and until my piece of development did not move to the, any environment like dev qa or evt shantanu's piece of code will not work properly that means it's a 100% dependency of my ticket that until my ticket will not complete or deploy to any of the environment then shantanu's piece of code will not run that means it's a dependency and if there is any such a dependency like this we need to call it out in this document so that anyone starting from the testers or, or the account owner or the product owner or the leads who are reviewing this document or who are viewing this document in any point of time it might be the starting of the of the ticket or or at the end of the ticket or or any stage so it's a clear idea that what is going on what is cooking behind to achieve the particular requirement this is the main motto of the impact analysis document because this document helps us a lot to 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 rectify our mistakes on the fly or having a clear idea that if i need to achieve the requirement what is the exact thing i need to develop because many times it, it, it in past many times it happened that uh, we we understand one thing but the requirement or the but, but client's requirement is something else so so there is there is so by this impact analysis or by this uh, document process we are uh, we are double sure that no we have understood the requirement correctly and this is the development that we are going to uh, need to do in the project or in the code base so that we achieve the goal 100% and that is accurate and if client reviews this document he is also having that same same understanding okay so that is the my, what is my document and if it post these uh, codes or post these changes uh, being pushed in in the environment then my requirement will be fulfilled and these are the impact areas and if there is dependency so he has also clear idea that until those one or two tickets comes to me or uh, or uh, completed first then then only one ticket the third ticket in the pipeline will be uh, will be tested or will be reviewed by the client that means everyone in, in the system or in the project the, every participant in the project have a clear crystal clear idea of what is cooking behind for delivering one ticket till now any question any doubts
silence means no. Good. Okay. So, so this is and and the process that we have set that once that this particular document was being created and uploaded and and kept on a shared Google Drive, we just attach the document link in the subtask of the Jira and assign the lead to review the impact analysis document. So once the lead review the document and approved and sign off the subtask, mm -hmm. then only the parent ticket can be moved from to do to in progress. Without this subtask create impact analysis ticket closed, the parent ticket never comes in progress mode. That is the primary process that we have set in OUP. And this impact analysis document should be attached in the in the in the in the subtask of the ticket on the first day of the sprint that is the planning day that means we need to analyze the ticket beforehand so that we just we just record all the changes or all the necessary steps in the impact analysis document on the first day because first day is the planning call that we plan what the ticket we are going to deliver within the sprint that is on the on the, on the upcoming 10 days we are delivering and on that day we create and attach this impact and document and sign it off and the second day onward the development process will start so that is the process we have set it in OEP. okay so, so uh, as i said Without any impact analysis document, any story can be moved to from to do to in progress. So that is the first thing. And likewise, there is another the, while the developers are working on a, on a ticket, the testers are also creating the test case document uh, to, to 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 test. The one story or on ticket, and they are creating the test case cases and attaching the ticket, and the test leads are reviewing those test case documents and signed it off. So only one approved signed off test case document are attached in a ticket. Then only we as a developer can move the ticket to the QA bucket. Until and unless any approved test case document attached in the ticket, we never push the code uh, to QA or uh, no, we never push the or, or move the, uh, the ticket to QA bucket. If uh, we, we might push our code to QA environment, but officially we are not uh, moving the Jira ticket to QA bucket uh, if there is no attached test case document within the Jira. So that that the, so these two are the mandatory thing that we rigorously follow in OUP. One is approved impact analysis document attached in the ticket before we make the ticket in progress, and the second one is. A approved test case document attached in the ticket before moving the ticket to QA bucket. So these are two milestones. Yes, mate. Uh, actually, I have a question. Uh, say, for example, uh, uh, there is a one uh, ticket that is loading kind of thing you are uh, shown earlier. There is mm -hmm. a deep and that is a CSS for achieving that, that ticket, right? Yeah. So, say for example, if I have a one ticket, even I don't know what is the solution for that, and I have to R&D for that. So, how do I uh, create uh, analyzing document for that? Because even I don't know what is the uh, result uh, will come 
the outcome so it might take some time two days or three days after that i can achieve that so how do i prepare that analysis uh, document in the very planning time okay the thing is uh, the, the process that uh, we we set in oup that we have a 10 days sprint and so depends on the holidays it might it might come to eight days or might be on nine days but apparently it's uh, it's a 10 days uh, task or 10 days sprint okay so so what our uh, our target is so, so if uh, and and in any sprint we only take five sprint five story point ticket five story point ticket means in oup five story point means five days so we are not considering any any ticket beyond five story point because the reason behind is so it might be the five story point is it all together that means suppose uh suppose this particular ticket 11310 it, it's also 11310 it's a it's a three story point ticket so it's three story point is segregated like two plus one that means two dev days one qa days as you all know these story points are following the fibonacci method that's one two three five eight thirteen kind of this the the story points is it's uh, behaving like this so we are only considering five story points five story point means it's it's it might be three plus two or four plus one so it never be five altogether as a div so if we think that one one ticket the acceptance criteria is huge in sense we we are we are segregating or we are distributing the requirement in a, in a, in a, in a two or three pieces if possible that means in one sprint we only honor five story point so that the developers have inner buffer time to review the next sprint ticket in advance do the r and d do all the all the necessary uh, uh, necessary findings in in advance so that it can be documented well in advance and attached and for for impact and this document or the rc document got my point yes yeah so So this ticket is uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward and gone smooth. So within this ticket, no sub bugs are being logged. So my next point is, what is the RCA? For RCA, oh, I'm going to open another ticket. One one three one nine. That is one. This is also one story. Okay. So. To be very obvious, as I said, that there is a impact analysis subtask for this. And if I open the impact analysis subtask, you have the document attached within the subtask and post approval or post uh, close the subtask, this ticket also. Uh, also, also being moved to in progress and then QA and right now it is in UAT bucket. That means the testers are reviewing this particular piece of development in our UAT environment and post the testers are happy, then this particular ticket will be moved to ASO bucket so that client will start reviewing. Okay, so 11319. Here is one sub bug being logged. See, 11468. This is one sub bug was being logged by QA team when 11319, the parent ticket was, uh, was assigned to QA person for their review. And 
you can you can see uh, see that impact analysis subtask is done test case creation subtask is also done finalization of test case review all this done qa verification as this particular ticket passed our qa verification on qa environment then the qa environment verification is also done at present the testers when starts this particular ticket verifying on evt environment they will convert this sub verification on stage server from to do to in progress and post their verification complete this particular sub task is also will be a done condition and then only this particular parent ticket can be moved to aso so this is the process in oup so as you can see once sub bug being logged then and this is anand jadav was the developer of the particular document and this is a sub bug being logged so once the sub bug being logged what anand do anand review the sub bug points and he starts finding out the root cause for this bug and post his findings he just did one rca document and attached in the ticket that means in the sub bug only that means for any sub bug or any bug there should be rca document that means what is the reason for the bug root cause analysis in short rca so this is the, the rca document the first line is oh sorry here it is so this is the first line of the sub bug so he just copy and paste as a heading and within this uh, sub bug these are the issues that are being listed so the issue one here is the issue one he 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 pointed out and elaborated the word the reason of the issue is and what will be the solution for that and for the issue two here is the issue that there is an underline uh, being being introduced in the document and what will be the solution to mitigate the issue so here is a solution are being listed that to to solve particular issue we need to update these style styling rules in the css file so obviously there should be one alteration one css file so here is the css file that we need to update in the this particular css file and likewise in, in impact and this is is there any risk or challenges to to answer or to uh, to solve this uh, sub bug if yes then definitely we need to uh, point it out in in this portion that yes we have blah 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 or this kind of uh, risk or challenges to achieve this issue if not that is not applicable then in a and likewise the dependency on other tickets if there is any we need to convey the entire thing what are the dependencies it might be another ticket or it might be another person and likewise uh, it might be one CSS glitch that uh, is being encountered or that in comes in between one one development, but to add to to rectify uh, those CSS space, we need a Angular person help or the TS person help or a PHP person help to 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 be to be to be supported or to integrate a few pieces of codes from their end. 
then definitely we are need to to dis, uh, describe that we need we are dependent on on php persons having the dependency of php developer or the angular developer or the test friend or it might be one uh, one devops guy that until and unless the devops guy have uh, set some uh, some rules uh, in the jenkins then, then our code uh, can't be deployed or can't be reviewed then that might be also a dependency so any kind of dependency it's not only the on, on a, another, another ticket it it have it may have one um, one skills dependency one person dependency but it, it can be anything so if there is any kind of dependency we need to record it in the document so post this document being created anand attached in the tick in the in the sub bug and post the review of the lead or the senior person if it's getting approved the sub bugs are moved to in progress and he works starts work on the actual development and post the the development done and the code push to the environment that is dev for dev testing and push to uh, post the success of dev testing on dev environment he moved the code to qa and uh, and then the ticket will move on to qa bucket one thing we need to remember that for any sub bug there should not be a separate test case altogether the parent ticket test case is the only one for the testing evidence but for developers we need to have one rc document for sub bugs but not expecting a, a new test case document for the sub bug clear any doubts I think no. So so that means that means one one three one nine is a story. For the story, we are creating impact analysis. For sub bug or bug, we are creating RCA document. And here is the uh, shared folder that we follow to uh, to keep all the impact analysis or the rca that are within the sprint work at present we are in quarter one sprint one of 2022 so this is the folder for our current sprint and these are the documents so it's the impact analysis document these are the rc document so these all the documents are kept in the folder and this if i open so these are the links that we are going to share within the jira ticket okay As a comment like like this so as i said is the is a shared drive so within the project whoever the developer or whoever the tester so every person have the rights are are the the edit rights are being given to everybody uh, along with client so that their should not be one permission denied kind of uh, things are being thrown so that means we we all who are in working in the project having the access of the shared drive that is the that is the process we have set it till now uh, in in oup that is oxford university press so this this is this, that's all for uh, what is the impact analysis and what's the rca and how we are uh, 
uh, following the Jira and what are what are what are all the processes that we have set to start one ticket or or moving the tickets ahead. That's all till now. Till we have fifteen minutes left, so you might ask questions if 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 you have anything. Uh, so, Dhruba, you can stop presenting your screen and we can take on questions, if any. Yeah, yes. yeah, please unmute yourself and ask. Devabrata, you raised your hand. Hey, am I audible? Yes. Sorry, yes, yes, you are. Okay. Yes. Actually, in the root cause analysis, uh, we not only we can define the, the problem and the solution, but we need to identify when it happened. If uh, the this is the new requirement from the, our client side, then we can uh, do a separate sprint, or we can discuss with the client. I think. Sorry, didn't get your. It, it, didn't, didn't... It's not included in our uh, project requirement. It's no, maybe no. new new requirement also. Yeah, definitely, definitely, because the story so is all already... to identify when it's happened the problem when it's happened at the development time or at the time of uh, uh, project uh, analysis everything no, no the thing is the impact analysis comes in place only after if we take one ticket within our sprint and the ticket only comes within a sprint a post the leads approval or post the product owner approval and finalizing all the requirements and all the aspects in the pipeline that so it, it's not comes in in one sprint on a fly okay no, so during the sure. during the sprint planning or or sprint grooming call in one week ahead of sprint mm -hmm. planning what is the what is what is the discussion was happen that we uh, we discuss each and every ticket in a common group and identify the requirement and and understand the requirement so so it's been the benefit of the the grooming call or of the tickets is so we have a clear idea of the requirement in in well advance in one week in in our time and we can think through what will be the potential solution or what will be the potential uh, codes or, or or development that we are going to develop in the code base so it's it's not uh, not on a fly that uh, you just come in the morning and just uh, get assigned one ticket it's not like that so okay. you you have you we all have adequate time in advance to understand the requirement of the ticket so that we can think through of the solution or how we are going to develop if if there is one requirement obviously there might be a, a n number of requirements in the pipeline as the requirement is we are here in the company to develop if there is no requirement we are no longer in the company that is there is a main thing all 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 in the industry so there is a requirement we are the developer going to develop there there is a bug we are the developer going to resolve it if it is a genuine bug we are going to deliver or we are resolving the bug if it's it's a not a genuine bug it can be a authoring error it can be a perspective that as the client or as a reviewer who are reviewing the the ticket is having having a, a, a miscommunication or or, or 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 wrong thought process 
so we can obviously can argue and can point it out to the to the right direction that this is the right direction that we need to uh, need to think through and obviously it's it's based on the discussion that uh, that are we going to deliver or or if, if there is any any kind of situation that uh, the developers are saying no it's a it's a feature or the product owner or the client or the testers are saying no, it's a bug then we definitely comes in a in a in a mutual agreement that the either it's a bug or not but definitely for each every new requirement it's not a surprise in the morning yes, yes i got it actually i am talking about whatever you said the misunderstanding and the if anything overlook at the time of analyzing the project yes that is that is the thing that is the that is the uh, that is the uh, that is the reason that we are creating the impact analysis document beforehand so that any kind of surprises when we are going to develop are are not getting it so maybe maybe it's it's happened it's when we 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 are thinking that these might be uh, the things we are developing when we are working on the particular ticket but when we actually start coding uh, and uh, pushing the code to the environment then only we can realize no it's a it's a dependency it's it's there is a dependency with another task and if if that kind of situation happens then we definitely need to update our impact analysis document on another same time and get it approved thank you Drugo. i got it yeah, uh, next is Shomnath. Yep. Uh, Dhruba, just a small announcement. So the ones who are leaving, kindly please fill in the feedback form before you leave. I know you have another call, so this is a mandate of the process that you please need to fill the feedback form. Uh, yes, Shomnath, you can ask your question. Yeah, actually, um, I'm in leave today, but I just saw that meeting. Uh, can, can anyone share that uh, recording? Uh, I will do so, Somnath. Yeah, I'll definitely, because yeah. because for this, for the, uh, so having that feature reference, we are recording the session. At any point of time, whoever interested to have the entire process can have the recording and ask Pia. Uh, she will share. Okay, okay, thank you. Actually, I'm in uh, medical leave today, so just uh, I check that mails or uh, anything. And, uh, that's why I joined. Okay, okay. so how is, how is your health? Are you good? Okay, show me please. Uh, so once you guys are like uh, creating this RCA, are you all uh, also adding this uh, inside this uh, Jira as well? So when we are filing bugs, right, at that point of time in the Jira, we have a particular section, right, where we have to fill in the RCA. So are you all writing whatever you have been doing in that document over there as well? No, the thing is uh, the whenever whenever there is a bug or uh, or there is a sub bug. Are you talking about the sub bug, right? I'm talking about both the any bugs. Be it sub bug or the parent bug, you have to have the RCA, okay. right? No, no, no. The the bug or sub bug having the RCA, the the uh, the the story, it's impact analysis. The story means is the requirement or or new development or new feature that we are going to build, and the sub bug or bug means it's it's a defect. So for any defects, we are creating the root cause, or for any any feature development, we are creating the impact analysis. So, <clears throat> so in OUP, we uh, we create those uh, those these two documents. That means uh, one impact analysis uh, or the RCA in a in a Google Doc and and attach in the Jira. Okay, so you guys are just attaching it to the Jira. You're not uh, like directly filing the RCA within the G within the Jira. No, 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 no. We uh, because because uh, there is a uh, there is a is a is a template. There is also the two templates are being are being kept on on the board uh, for for it's obviously an internal purpose altogether. Uh, for impact analysis, there is one template. For uh, RCA, there is one template. So based on the template. Uh, we we just write the document, keep the document in a shared Google Drive, sprint by sprint, 
and attach those link within the Jira ticket. Got it? Yes, thanks. Okay. Uh, any more questions that I can help? Okay, so last question that I want to ask uh, you people though, is this session helpful for you? Yes, thanks, Robo. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Thank so that. we come end to the session. So let me stop the recording. And again, I would like to repeat my.